Mr. Welcome. Today, I'd like to talk about a powerful new technology the Fira Consortium is developing: ultra wide band enabled untracked indoor navigation. It goes to beyond the limitation of other technology in accuracy, scalability, and privacy. Indoor navigation can be used in buildings like shopping malls, airports, museums, and even underground parking lots where GPS is not available. This precise indoor navigation enables convenient services such as locating a tagless gate in a subway station, an automatic check-in service or payment services, supplementing guide dogs for visually impaired persons, or a dozen services in museums or an art gallery. Prior to development work by the FIRA, indoor navigation relied on UWB two-way ranging, which accurately measured the time difference, time of flight (TOF) between UWB devices. For uh, a two-dimensional localization, we need at least two TOF values with two different UWB anchors with known positions, and runs a trilateral algorithm with the measured two TOF values. To obtain the TOF value, the message exchange between the user devices and an anchor is required. When the number of users increases, a large number of messages are transmitted over the air. So, in a crowded area, messages from the different user devices may cause collisions with each other. This eventually limits the the number of user devices. That can simultaneously support indoor navigation services. Other technologies such as Bluetooth channel sounding and Wi-Fi time defined timing measurement (FTM) have also the same limitation in scalability. As an alternative to two-way ranging, the omnic time difference of arrival (omnic TDOA) can solve this scalability issue. In omnic TDOA localization. The user devices periodically sends only one messages for the omnitidio infrastructure to measure the user's location. But the anchors must be synchronized and connected to a centralized server capable of a real-time locating service. This can be much more expensive to deploy. Also, since the the server calculates the user's location, their information is potentially Are being exposed outside and can be tracked, meaning the user's privacy may not be protected. In contrast, the FIRA's implementation of UWB-enabled untracked indoor navigation uses the downlink time difference of arrival (DLTDOA), also known as a reverse TDOA, as technology base. There is no message exchange transmitted by the user devices. Instead, the user devices Locally estimate their location by only overhearing the messages sent uh, between the UWB anchors. With a minimum fixed number of messages, a potential unlimited user devices can enjoy indoor navigation services without worrying about the exposure of their location information. This does not equ- require a real-time location system server. Or a wired network for time synchronization, making the deployment much simpler and cost-effective. When compared to the other technology, the UWB untracked indoor navigation enables centimeter-level accuracy, with very high scalability, while being deployed and managed in a cost-effective way. With this simple but powerful indoor navigation technique. Indoor venue can greatly enhance the location-based services by simply relying on devices that users already have in their hands, and by deploying a UWB untracked indoor navigation infrastructure as defined by Fira.、Uh, thanks for watching.、Uh, you can also learn about Fira and UWB untracked indoor indoor navigation at firaconsortium.org.